Всем привет, my name is Vika, I'm very glad to see you on my channel today and this video is going to be a special one for me because this is a special place it's my granddad's dacha where I spent many days of my childhood and teenage years I'm going to give you a little tour around here and show you everything that my granddad built himself and also let's talk about what dacha is actually in Russia. During the Soviet Union era, most people moved from the countryside to cities to work on factories and in different governmental organizations. After like 50s or 60s, government decided that it would be good for people to have small pieces of land where they can grow their own food because there were sometimes problems with uh, like getting enough uh, food for all the citizens and also people can relax there, just chill on weekends um, so they provided at first it was like owned by government but people were using it uh, later in 90s uh, people were able to buy these little pieces of land and like own them these pieces of land were very small usually about 0.15 of an acre um, and they were like in cooperations of these pieces of land like there were a lot of them near each other so people were using them people lived uh, full time in the cities but in summer they were coming on weekends to these little houses to just rest in nature to grow their vegetables and fruits and it was very common like most people did that every single weekend my granddad bought this piece of land in 90s after the soviet union collapsed so uh, we like it's owned by our relatives right now because my granddad passed away several years ago and he built everything himself here so let's let's go and show you everything what is around here he bought it and started to build the house approximately the same time when i was born it's my mom and tiny me in the past uh, my grandma used to grow something on every single piece of land that you see here fruits vegetables berries uh, like trees you can see uh, apple tree and some other kinds of trees here grapes also as you see I wasn't a big fan of nature back then so right now it's just a chill out zone where you can just lay down get some sunbathing um, just relax drink tea in nature and do other stuff like that you don't have to like work hard on the garden i'll start with little constructions here and there and this is the well that my granddad built i remember that i used to be always scared of it uh, a little bit when i was a kid because it's like really goes deep down and it's kind of creepy or i can say creepova if you watched my latest video about russian slang you know what i mean <laughs> here used to be a tank with the rainwater and a couple times my dad kept some fishes uh, there from the fishing here you can see little and excited me allow it to touch the fish here are colorful swings that we used to love as kids it took many years for my granddad to build everything so these swings he put here in the like late years we didn't have them when we were very little but in my teenage years <laughs> i used to really enjoy them and i spent a lot of time here laying down i was falling asleep on them all the time and i just loved reading some books here mm. <laughs> I don't know the English word for that, but here in Russia we call it besedka. It's just a place to sit in the garden and enjoy some tea in nature. You can uh, like serve a table here and uh, eat with friends. So it's all covered with the grapes. You can't even see it properly, but it's actually very cute and beautiful let's go into the house i know you all have been waiting for that moment <laughs> here is the house um, it's a kitchen 
very small one you can't cook here you can just drink some tea or do something like that here are some clothes and there's a second floor we'll go there later i really like this wooden windows that my granddad chose for the house i think they are really cute and here is the main room um I really like that carp carpet, actually it's a new one. It wasn't there when my granddad used to like own this place. My relatives put it here. So it's a fireplace. It's like my favorite thing <laughs> in the whole house. My friend and I actually had a fun experience with this fireplace because after we finished school, we took all of our notebooks and students book and everything related to school and just burned it here <laughs> so here is some furniture left it's uh, old furniture from the soviet period my grandparents furniture and an old carpet here also this is a very cute thing let's go upstairs but honestly we didn't use this room uh, upstairs much because uh, everything we needed was here downstairs in the main room my granddad used to uh, live there on weekends and sometimes during the whole week in the summertime and he was just chilling on the couch there is no couch uh, but in the past there was a couch very cool like wooden stairs here's a couch also a different one it's a new one and some furniture Also a nice view from here, like you can see some nine story buildings there and other gardens. My husband is so sweet, he's helping me to take care of Agatha while I'm filming. So he's keeping her busy and they're just so cute. Going down is also very uncomfortable. Like you can really touch this thing so yeah i'm trying to be careful so it was the house uh i think it's very small very simple one but I think it's also pretty typical for like this Dutch, I think, uh, in Russia. My granddad really took uh, well care of it. And also uh, my relatives right now, it's my aunt. She's taking care of it well also. She's renovating it a little bit. On this side of the house, there was also a little barbecue zone where uh, there was a small like thing for uh, cooking shashlik and other stuff. We call it mangal in Russian. Let's see what is on the back side of the house. And here I think is a very interesting thing. In Russia, it's very common to have this. It's a toilet, basically. Uh, it's toilet, like a compost toilet, when everything goes uh, into the ground, into the hall. So it's very common to have a toilet like that on dachas. It looks like that. You know, you just sit here and there's a hole. <laughs> so. And this thing used to be something like a sauna, but my granddad didn't finish it. We call it banya in Russian, but it's not working. And here we have some berries. Like you can see a little bit. Is the lasatka? <laughs> and the last but not the least uh, is like a barn, like a place where you keep all the garden tools. Uh, it's pretty messy, but I think you would be interested anyway, so I'll show it to you. It looks like that. Uh, it's built like it's a part of the house. 
so it would look very similar and let's just oh, let's just go inside I said it's pretty messy so yeah it's like a lot of mess here we have oh this is very interesting you can see this little thing uh, you can go down into the earth <laughs> and there are shelves where my grandma used to keep all her like conservations and vegetables it's very cold down here it's what is called i think cellar in english i'm not really sure yeah i did So thank you for joining me. For <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys a lot for joining me today. I was very glad to show you everything around and I hope you liked just exploring our little dacha with me. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. <laughs>